Welcome back to Southwest Wisconsin Metal Detecting. This is Steve. Got my cold weather gear on again today. I'm taking off for a house that is not quite as old as the ones that I've been detecting. It's in town. But it's uh, 36 degrees and it's supposed to warm up to near 42. We'll see how it goes. But no matter what the temperature or what I find, I always have a good time. So we will see you on the next good beat. The very first signal at this yard. And it's the biggest coin I've ever seen. No, I'm just kidding. It looks like the back of a mercury dime. It is a big mercury dime. Well, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, find out what this is all about. I will be right back. Well, this is a really cool relic. In my mind, I kind of remember seeing something like this before. I've never dug one, but it's monstrous. It flips the wrong way, but it's just a Mercury Dime with a Denver Mint. I'll get some research done, find out where these came from. Awesome. Great first find of the day. On to the next good beep. Well, I think this is going to be a really fun day. My very first target's a giant 1916 Mercury Dime. And my second target is not quite sure. It was to be hung around the neck. I'm going to get it cleaned up. And we will see what we got here. I'll be right back. Well, the second target I dug ended up being a Ducks Unlimited Canine Club medallion. It's uh, 20 years old, Ducks Unlimited 2000. I think we're going to have a good day here today. A neighbor lady across the street just came over, gave me permission to do her yard as well. So it is a good day. On to the next beep. This relic ended up being a canning jar lid. I'll just check it out, see if the porcelain's still intact. Because as you know, I collect those. And I'll be right back. I did get the porcelain liner out without breaking it. Nothing special, but there's something pretty about those. Let's check this hole one more time. I'll check that beep, but it's probably just iron in the hole. If I don't come back, it was nothing. On to the next beep. Well, the relic in this hole ended up being a coin. It is not silver, but I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I think it's 1965. Be right back. Yes, it is. I ended up with a 1965. I call it getting 65'd because 64 and earlier were 90% silver. Oh well, still 25 cents. On to the next beep. Out of this hole, I've got a weed scent. I will get it cleaned up, see what the date is. Be right back. 
it ended up being a 1944 Philadelphia. On to the next beep. In this hole, the target was a little heart-shaped pendant. I'll get her cleaned up and we'll see if it's got any writing on it. Be right back. Well, the only writing I see on it is at the top. It says Elks Carnival, like the Elks Club. Well, that's pretty neat. A little hole in the center. On the back, there's a little bit of writing, but I can't make it out quite yet in the field. I'll do a little research and see what we got here. Pretty cool. On to the next beat. Out of this hole, the relic looks round, kind of silvery, but it kind of looks smaller than a dime. I'm hoping it's a token or something cool like that. I will get it cleaned up. We'll be right back. Well, it ended up being Uncle Sam 1949 10 cents play dime. That's pretty cool. Little kid lost his play money out here next to this big weeping willow tree. Makes you wonder what the kids were doing underneath this tree 71 years ago. Awesome. We'll get that cleaned up, get some better pictures. On to the next beep. Well, under the clothesline here, I found the wheel to the ship, but I didn't find the rest of the ship. On to the next beep. Out of this hole, underneath the clothesline, I found this band, but it's got some writing on it. So I thought I'd uh, clean it up, see what we got here. I'll be right back. I'm thinking this must have been at a Ducks Unlimited banquet thing. Good luck, DU. I'm assuming Ducks Unlimited. BW. 4459 and I found that other Ducks Unlimited thing so I think this gentleman here was a duck hunter pretty cool on to the next beep Hi everyone, I am filming this on October 16th and I just went to the truck to eat some lunch and it's been snowing here in southwest Wisconsin, but it's just about stopped now. I was going to show you on film, but 
I don't think you can quite see it coming down, but it was coming down pretty good. Wasn't sticking to the ground, but it's too early for snow. Let's get back to metal detecting. I didn't realize that the target was that deep. It ended up being a old cap gun. I think I broke it getting it out. Thought it was a pop can. Maybe I'll clean it up a little bit, see what we got. Be right back. It ended up being a humbly, a humbly trooper. Probably a snub nose 38 or 357. Cool. Nice old toy. On to the next beep. <laughs> 